Hi everyone, Tim Knight here and wanted to share some cool latest news about Slope Rules, which is uh, Slope of Hope's uh, system developer and tester. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty big jump ahead. Uh, just to recap, you can access Slope Rules from the Tools menu or by right-clicking anywhere on the chart. And uh, I'm on my account now, obviously, and so these are my own rules I've created, although I've copied a couple from the director here. Um, we've got our creation screen and our uh, uh, published slope rules, which you good folks have been contributing to. And this is going to be a nice, nice library of, uh, of rules people put together. So God bless you for, for using it and experimenting with it. Um, a lot of creativity going on. And to date, as you know, um, we've been able to basically apply any rule to one symbol or apply all rules with one symbol. And so, uh, and I haven't, I'm, I did not rehearse this, so I'm not sure what results I'll get, but so for example, I could go to Citibank and apply uh, bullish slow crossover and it would do its thing and show me the results and so forth, which is pretty impressive when you look at it. Um, so that's, you know, using one rule with one symbol. And of course, we've talked about um, how you can go to slope rules and uh, go to the, you know, go to the published library and test all of these. So I, I could test, uh, it assumes Citibank because I just used it, but I'll type in SPY for the spiders. And I could test uh, all uh, all the rules that everyone's created, not just me, uh, and examine those results. And I could sort them and copy them and so forth. So that, that's kind of two classifications. You can test one rule on one symbol or use one symbol and examine all the rules. Now I've gone kind of the, the third leg of the triangle, which is you can apply a slope rule to an entire watch list. And this will make slope rules useful for everybody at this point, because everybody's got lists. In order to apply a, a slope rule set to a watch list, you just go to the watch list, right click on it, go to apply slope rules and choose the one you want to use. Um, so for example, I'll choose uh, bearish, very slow EMA 400, which is the 400-day uh, movement average. And up it comes. And so these, this is the result of that slope rule being used with 50 different symbols. That's how many are on that list. And as before, I could uh, sort based on anything. How many trades were executed based on that rule? Uh, what percentage were winners? So it just so happens that BNS had the worst results with that particular rule, whereas MET had the best. What's the overall, to me, this is the most important column, what's the overall uh, win or loss? So Philip uh, Morris, uh, um, I'm sorry, this is, is it Philip Morris? No, this is um, Altria. Uh, had the worst result and the best was met again. Uh, average win, average loss. And this is a very important column, which tells you whether or not right now there is an open trade on it. Uh, so in this instance, you can see there there's a number of them um, that do have open trades based on that rule. And, you know, you can, you can look as many as you like and so forth, um, like so. And so we can see that um, around 13 or 14 have open trades right this moment. Uh, just to show that again, I'll, I'll go ahead and X out of there and I'll choose a different rule this time. So we'll go up to apply slope rules, bearish SMA crossover, and it will behind the scenes process those 50 symbols against that rule. And here we have uh, this result. And the um, uh, results are pretty interesting on this one. Um, so I, one last warning on this. The first time you right click on a watch list and apply a rule, it has to preload all the historical data, tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of data points. And it'll show you a progress bar on that. Um, and I, for the sake of this video, I didn't show it just grinding away at that because that would be really boring. But it does preload 
the data and then shows you the results. And the good news is that after it's done that, then you can apply rule after rule after rule and it won't have to preload it again. It's all there ready to uh, analyze. So I hope you're as excited about this as I am. I think it's a great new improvement in slope rules. I appreciate everyone's suggestions. We've got a lot more features um, coming, but for now, this was the last really major feature I was eager to see. So jump right in. Thanks, bye-bye.